little fishing. And look, I got offshore thanks to my buddy Troy who just hit me up yesterday and said, let's go. So we started off the day good. We netted a bunch of mullet and then we uh, netted a bunch of small pilchards. So we got chummies and then we uh, sabikied some nice big thread fins. So the live well's loaded with the good stuff. Uh, and we're, we're gonna start a drift here, throw, a, throw out some flat lines, put some mutton rigs down, try to catch some fish. Here we go. All right, Troy's on on the flat line. This is his second hit. Got cut off on the first one, or no, mahi. spit. Mahi. Oh yeah, we got mahi on. Oh baby. That's nice. That was what the first one was too. Damn, I don't have a, a spinner rod rig yet. Okay, um, I want to get that other one hooked, hold on, shoot. Yeah, I'll leave him sitting here, get rid of it. It'll, it'll only take me a sec. See him? You got it. Got him. Double yeah, double header. Don't don't flip him. You got him. You got him. Don't flip him. is a little too big to flip. Woo! Nice. We got we got to be better prepared for the next situation. Yes. <laughs> well, I do at least. <laughs> I had I mean, nothing ready to go for that situation. But yeah, come on, Wayne. Tighten up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was not C Pro style. All right. Yeah, I'll give you the benefit of that. It's been a while. <laughs> those are some nice fish. Those yeah, those. Yeah, those are those are some decent ones. Is that an Amica? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so we've moved to our second spot. We got those two mahi in the first spot. Spot, The bottom bite just wasn't there. So we'll see, we're gonna change it up a little bit. But I wanna point something out. It's a Sunday, it's beautiful out here. And I got to the ramp and I'm like, expecting it to be crowded and it was like hardly anyone there. But look at this, look at this. There is no boats out here. All right, there's, there's a couple guys flying kites out off the ledge, off the 130 ledge. But oh my God, dude, there's nobody in here on a six mile. Doesn't doesn't happen that much on a weekend, right? Oh no! What a treat! What a treat! All right, let's get some mutton. Is that the mutton rod? Nice, nice. I'm gonna hold on, dropping. You're not supposed to fish me these guys. That's a mutton. I see the color, baby. That's the color. That's the color we're. Oh, it's a keep. It's a keep. That's a oh. keep. Are you kidding me, bro? Woo! I told you, bro. This is the secret spot. 
<laughs> nice fish, buddy. Yes, sir. Nice fish. Yes. 20 inch fish in the boat, baby. All right, let's go. All right, let's chum it up. They're here. I got hit right before uh, you saw Troy catch that nice mutton. And we're starting to mark them now. When we got here, this is one of my favorite spots, if not the favorite. When we got here, we were mar weren't marking nothing. I said, let's just, let's just hit it. They'll show up. They showed up. Look at Ooh. that. Oh, a pretty color on that fish. At it. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah. That is a perfect eater right there. He ain't dead yet. Did you measure him? I haven't measured him yet. I bet you he's 21. Zero. Yeah, right, right close to it. 21? Yep. Yep. Yeah, when they hit 21, 22, they start getting fat. So I got a live thread fin down now. And uh, we're gonna start chumming with some ballyhoo. If we get another fish on cut bait, we'll switch both rods over. Right now we're gonna we're just fishing live on one side, cut on the other to see what ends up producing more. And we got long leaders. I've got a uh, 30 pound leader. How much is your leader? 40. 40, so you wanna be in that range, 30 to 40. Especially in these, uh, in, when you're not really, really deep. Those the pizza and beer. Troy busts out the pizza and beer, got it done. All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just missed the mutton again, and now Troy's hooked up again. Thanks for the assist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes. That's all right, dude. I'll bring them to you. I get them hungry, and I, then they come to you. That was a smoking run right there. That was nice. Feels a little smaller or he's floating. Is he there? He's there. Or he's not a mutton. Uh, or he just came off. Is he or off? He's small, he's small. We got eight. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, there's the there's the cuda. That's a monster cuda. No, he's you, a keeper. Yeah, he was. Oh no! That's a giant cuda. Oh, another one too, right below the boat. Another cuda? Ah! Throw it to him. Feed him. Sleeping on it. Yeah, I'm hooked up. Good fish. And we know we got big cooters down there, so we're fishing. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah! We're racing them up. <sighs> good? No, it's just like, I. when you reel them up, when you just like yoke oh, them. Oh yeah, he's right, like literally right 18. Let me see. He's, a little, he's over a little bit. Let's make sure you're on zero. Yeah, I'm on zero. I'm yeah, actually a little he's bit right there. Zero. He can put him on ice. Uh, that's a good fish, buddy. Get him up, get him up. I'm trying, I ain't letting him go down. <sighs> Hundred feet to go. <laughs> yeah. feel? He's turned. It's a good fish. Snapper or jack? I don't know. He might even know. I think it's probably like an almaco or something. Not big. Maybe it's a nice snapper. Here we go. Mutton. Mutton. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice one, man. Yeah. Fatty. <laughs> we came out deep, guys. Because the bite slowed down. Came out to 150 and tried for grouper and we get a mutton. <laughs> oh. I'm not complaining. 
I'm not oh, complaining. Did you took the you took a hook out of her? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's right in the corner, right? Yep. <sighs> Roll it, eat her. Hold on, let's get a measurement. I think he's not. That was it. bigger. It's probably 22. Right, when you let me know when you're on that. Hold on, back up. Look this way. There he goes on zero. 22. Nice. Good one. Man. Good one. All right, so we pulled up four keeper mutton so far today, and the two biggest ones. I'm gonna give you guys a secret. This time of year, there's a lot of them around and don't think they don't work offshore. What are they, Troy? Mullet. Mullet will crush some mutton, dude, and other fish offshore. So don't be afraid to use them out here. I want to catch you a big beeliner because you want one so bad. Good, good fishing when you take the kids out too. Yeah. Not 180 feet. Yeah, <laughs> There's another keeper. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I think if I got a keeper on, you guys. Okay. All right. All right. He just let it sit there with a the bigger hook. Eventually, a, a decent one will grab it. Yeah. Go in? Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. So, put in a lot of work today. It's about one o'clock. We're going to call it a day. It wasn't easy. You know, we got the mahis, got plenty of mutton, and uh, a couple other small fish, but. We're tired, we're gonna call it a day. I can't complain, we got plenty of food. I wanna thank Troy, my buddy, for inviting me out. I don't get out on the water much because the boat's in the shop and I appreciate it. So, hope you enjoyed the footage. We're gonna get in here, fillet these fish, head home, have a good meal. Thanks for joining Tight Lines.